right, folks, we are back. We're going to go back to your calls in a moment, but I, I want to get more into this speech. Let's let's weave through it in the three hours we have together on the Info Warrior, 9 to midnight central time, five nights a week. Hit it, Hartman. Organized crime, the industrial spy, and increasingly foreign intelligence services. In one brazen act last year, thieves used stolen credit card information to steal millions of dollars from 130 ATMs, machines, in 49 cities around the world. And they did it in just 30 minutes. All right, stop right there. A single employee. How about the international offshore bankers just stealing, oh, I don't know, 15 trillion plus in the last few months? Forget about $139 million in 30 minutes. I mean, you could probably do $139 uh, million for every 30 minutes for the next 20 years before you got away with what your bosses have taken from the American public and the world scum. All right, continue. employee of an American company was convicted of stealing intellectual property reportedly worth $400 million. It's been estimated that last year alone, cyber criminals stole intellectual property from businesses worldwide worth up to $1 trillion. In short, America's economic prosperity in the 21st century will depend on cybersecurity. And this is also a matter of public safety and national security. We count on computer networks to deliver our oil and gas, our power, and our water. We rely on them for public transportation and air traffic control. Yet we know that cyber intruders have probed our electrical grid, and that in other countries, cyber attacks have plunged entire cities into darkness. All right, let's stop Our it right there. What that is, is trying to get you into the smart grid system that's coming to the UK where your power is monitored through fear, saying, oh, they're going to tap into the electrical system. Oh, there's going to be power outages. Just let the government regulate all the power that goes into your thing. Remember, we, we covered the story earlier in the week. Uh, bad economy equals lower CO2 emissions, which is good for the government because we love the government. We praise the government. The government is our Lord. All right, let's take more calls. Matt in Missouri, you're on the line, sir. Yes, Matt. Matt, I can't hear you. Hey, what's up? Yeah, now I can. Okay. I got some uh, good news for you. I'm a member of uh, Campaign for Liberty here in Missouri. I know you get a lot of people, uh, you and Alex, that call in their negative and say they do anything or ask what to do, mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, this kind of just shows what you can do. That I don't know if you've heard, but the Missouri Senate uh, unanimously passed HB 361, uh, which uh, repeals the real ID here in Missouri 32 to 0. Very good. Exactly. Explain to people how this works. If you join a proactive organization like Campaign for Liberty, what actions can you take? I mean, you get together with other people. You find out the paperwork you need to file. You get together. You protest this thing. You lobby for this. And instead of just crying on your keyboard and on your pillow at night, you make a difference, correct? Absolutely. There was, there was a lot of resistance against this bill. In fact, uh, Jim Guest, who Alex has had on... Yeah, he's a uh, um, legislator here in Missouri. He's the one who introduced this bill along with the sovereignty bill here in Missouri. And he really didn't think this was going to get passed. There was so much resistance against it. But the politicians were flooded with so many calls, emails, and visits from Campaign for Liberty and other members. That they were basically forced, uh, you know, to go along with this and to uh, to pass it. Uh, Exactly. Listen, it's it's not overnight. It was a tough battle. It's unfortunate we have this instant gratification, fast food society that everybody wants everything to change like that. That's not how it works. You have to take action. You have to believe in what you're doing. Again, the law of attraction is not going to come to you when a wall and an obstacle is in your way. You push through that wall, get around that obstacle, hop over it. There are ways to do this. Thank you so much, Matt. Let's go to our next Matt in California. Matt, you're on the air. Hello, Jason. How are you? Good. Um, I'm actually calling about, uh, I work at a local Harley-Davidson dealership here, and um, I know it's it made at the beginning kind of sound uh, like it's it's not a big deal, but it actually is. you got a 106-year-old uh, American company, um, mm -hmm. just like you know General Motors and Chrysler, mm -hmm. who just went through hell. Mm -hmm. And there's a Senate bill here in California, uh, 435, and what it will do 
is it will retroactively uh, require everyone in the state to smog their motorcycles back to the year 2000. Mm -hmm. Now, what that does is every Harley-Davidson on the road, everything you hear that's loud is not street legal. Now, yeah. it, to make those bikes street legal is will cost somebody a fortune that's not cost-effective uh, mm -hmm. to make them stock again. Mm -hmm. So what they're going to do is every year, because we, we have to smog and get registration yearly in the state, Mm -hmm. uh, have to, I've been there. It's, outra outrageous. it's outrageous in California. I mean, they're leading the way for global enslavement via you know carbon dioxide and carbon emissions. It's out of control. Go ahead. Right. And I, well, I'm just I'm curious as to how many companies, uh, American manufacturers, because auto was basically the last thing we had after they eliminated textiles and um, mm -hmm. some of the internet. You know, the, the, tele the telecom and Silicon Valley bust. Uh, some of the last these were the last companies that we had. Um, yes, and I, it's I, over. I, I'm, I'm wondering if it's gonna, you know, if a company that like Harley Davidson, I know there's much. I've been a Prison Planet Dot TV subscriber for years, and uh, woke up and like, oh, who? Um, and I haven't called in before, mm -hmm. but I just this is just something I didn't know what other forum to use. No, you know what? Let me things. talk about it for a second because it's not just going to be Harley Davidson. Think about this: every mom and pop barbecue out there that actually uses coal is pretty much going to be forced out of business or uh, forced to pay an outrageous tax to the government for what they do because coal burns carbon dioxide. People that burn wood, I mean, you're going to have to get a permit to have a fire outside your house. I mean, this is it. They're gearing up to shut down all trade in this country via via real jobs. I mean, GM's going bankrupt. See, there is nothing left. There, there's a couple, I mean, after, after the auto industry or what the skeleton of it that's left, there's a couple companies out there that still make a small minority of their clothes in the United States, and that's about it. It, 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 it seems as though, and it's kind of seems as though to me that they're uh, what they're doing is they're kind of eliminating our identity to be able to grasp anything that we can go out to and buy that's pure Americana. Well, yeah, well, you know and I mean? that, and they're trying to also internationalize everything, so we are even more interdependent on Mexico and Canada. So when they actually announce their North American Union. And, and they say, oh, yeah, the exactly. SPP was real. Yeah, that, that we accept it. I mean, that's why we have Barack Obama. What better way? That's why, what better way to do it? <laughs> I know. that They are doing it. I mean, it's I mean, it's right in front of your face. And now they're indoctrinating the children, just like they indoctrinated my generation with this global warming idea, even though they said it was chlorofluorocarbons back then, and now it's carbon dioxide, and they've moved through the generations. You know, it's, it's, it's very incremental, and it's unbelievable how far they've come. And we just have to say no to this. People, listen, one of my favorite barbecue places does, doesn't have any, any idea right now that in the next five years it probably won't even exist because it won't stay open with these new regulations. I thank you for the call, Matt. Let's go to Tom in California. Tom, you're on the line. Hey, uh, Jason? Yes, yes sir. sir. You know, uh, since, the, since the Alex Jones channel went back up on youtube i've been checking you know the top 10 mm -hmm. uh, videos mm -hmm. you know looking to see if we have a presence there mm -hmm. and um you know the the oklahoma uh cops that that yeah. pulled over the emp workers sure i watched that yesterday i watched that video climb almost to the top 10 mm -hmm. this afternoon i was watching it climb and then uh around sundown it just disappeared Dropped off. Oh, magically, just not there anymore, <laughs> huh? Oh, I, yeah. I wonder why that is. Oh, I, I guess it's not good when cops pull over ambulance workers after a woman has had a heat stroke in the middle of the day, and they start choking an EMS workers. Maybe they don't want to publicize that, huh? Maybe they don't want to give attention to Infowars. Hmm, they've never been biased before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but is that the new internet that we're going to... Oh, it's going to no, be much uh, worse than that. You won't be able to upload that video. See, there'll be little snoops and spies all over looking for content on all the popular video sites on Live Leak and Raw Story, if Raw Story is even allowed to exist, if we're allowed to exist. And they're just going to automatically take off the content. Total censorship, total blackouts. We'll see what happens. I mean, the tyranny, again, will be incremental. Oh, you couldn't see this. This is against the war effort. I mean... 1984 is like never before in this generation. And we are, again, so... So fast food, you know, instant gratification obsessed that we would rather be concerned about American Idol and Dancing with the Stars and the NBA playoffs than deal with any of this stuff. Where is the mainstream media on this latest uh, Supreme Court decision that pretty much ends your Miranda rights, but doesn't end your Miranda rights, but it pretty much ends your Miranda rights, but it doesn't.